Hello you all. Here I am with good news. I finally fixed the bug with my hardware that created that strange horizontal stripes in my videos. So now they are way better to watch. Hope you enjoy this little quality of life thing. And now to the video. This is a bitch hood only video because I am frightened that YouTube will give me a strike for this thus disabling my channel. In this video I am purifying dibenzoyl peroxide which I am using to synthesize benzene carboperoxoy acid which then will be used to make styrene oxide. Therefore I had to find a suitable source for the dibenzoyl peroxide. So I ended up with the epoxy radical hardener. To start the process I filled a little bit of the hardener in a beaker and topped it up with destiled water. The idea behind this is that due to the instability of the dibenzoyl peroxide the manufacturers add some kind of stabilizer that we want to get rid of. But I did not find any information on what stabilizer was added in my hardener. So I just went the full save mode and did a simple water washing to remove anything water soluble from the mix. This works because the dibenzoyl peroxide is only slightly soluble in cold water. The water washed hardener is then filtered off using a Buchner funnel. Pro tip. Wet the filter paper with whatever solvent you are using. The beaker is washed several times with fresh distilled water to get all of the hardener out. This also serves as separate water washing to get rid of all the maybe dissolved things. The texture of the granulate slightly differed from that of the unwashed hardener. It was fluffier and more free-floating. This washed hardener was then transferred in a fresh beaker. Now we are ready for the real purifying step. The recrystallization from warm ethanol. For this we have to know that dibenzoyl peroxide is not that well soluble in room temperature ethanol, whereas most of the conventionally used stabilizers are somewhat more soluble in ethanol. This in mind we slowly add ethanol and let it warm up to around 70 degrees centigrade. Then we add some more ethanol let this warm up again. This is repeated until everything has dissolved into the hot solution. The idea behind a recrystallization is that the different substances have different solubilities in the solvent of choice. Ideally the product you desire is highly soluble in the warm solvent and only slightly in the cold one. The side products are just more soluble anyway. Or should be. So that's the theory let us see if I am correct. Or if the manufacturers used some nasty stabilizer to ruin my day. Wow. That worked better than I had hoped. Look at those bow ties they are tremendous. What the fuck? Bow ties. 
well it seems that I can now declare that I am fully retarded. But back to the topic. The crystals are long, they are fine, and they seem to have a good purity. That's nice. That's very nice so I will have some good stuff to work with. So then let us filter this beauty sub. You gotta be fucking kidding me when it's wrong it sounds right? I hate you English women voice do you know that? Fuck. So well, now. We wet the filter paper with some ethanol and start filtering our crystals of. The crystals are washed twice, once with 40% ethanol and once with water. The water washing leads to some of the still dissolved substances crashing out and forming a milky mixture. After the filtering we have to dry our product. In this case it is very easy. We just put it on some paper and let it dry out. And again look at them they are adorable. Just makes my heart melt like a thermonuclear runaway. But now we still have to confirm that it really is dibenzoyl peroxide. For this we just set some of it on fire. Yay. And whoosh there it goes. Just behaves like a organic peroxide should. So then now it's time to pack it and store it but not for long. The styrene oxide synthesis will come soon. Then have fun and do not kill yourself.